police departments are reconsidering what to do with the guns they take out of service. In May, CBS News partnered with two independent newsrooms, The Trace and Reveal, to investigate what happens when law enforcement agencies sell their guns as they upgrade their arsenals. Now, this investigation uncovered that in a 16-year period, more than 52,000 former police weapons turned up at crime scenes. Now, two police departments are changing their policies, as CBS News correspondent Stephen Stock explains. The last uh, five years has been the highest level of gun violence in the history of the city. In May, we walked with Reverend Charles Harrison and his volunteers, keeping an eye out and showing a presence to help make Indianapolis safer. Then in June, in this same neighborhood, two people were killed in separate shootings five minutes apart. Too many guns on the street. Including guns once owned by police departments. Our investigation found many law enforcement agencies sell or trade in their decommissioned guns. One sold by a California Sheriff's Department turned up in Indianapolis at the scene where 19-year-old Cameron Brown was killed. Since our investigation, Indianapolis Chief Christopher Bailey issued an administrative order directing his staff to stop selling any department-issued guns. So we're going to let our feelings be known to the mayor. We followed up with Reverend Harrison, who says he backs the chief's decision. Uh, we're going to do our part to assist uh, Chief Bailey uh, to no longer sell um, old police guns. Candace Leslie, Cameron's mother, also applauded Chief Bailey's action. It just restores to me a little hope that they are hearing our voices as far as who these, the, the people that are being affected. But hopefully we all work together to see a change here in Indianapolis. And in Minneapolis, Police Chief Brian O'Hara changed their policy by issuing this administrative order. It says Minneapolis police will no longer sell firearms owned by the department. I don't want us to be in a position where a weapon that was once in service um, for a police, the police department here is then wind up used in a crime. While federal law enforcement is required by law to destroy their old weapons, many local police agencies continue adding guns to the streets. Stephen Stock, CBS News, Indianapolis. So as a part of this project, the WBZI team looked at what our police departments do with their old guns. And we found departments like the state police, Boston police, and Worcester typically and legally sell back or trade in their weapons to dealers. But advocates against gun violence say there's a better solution. You can see the I-team's full report right now on our website, WBZ.com.